my crafty friends. I'm back today with the birthday card I made for a friend and I made another tower pinwheel card or pinwheel tower card. Um, people seem to be using the names interchangeably so um, I'm going with tower pinwheel but <laughs> you can search for both if you're looking for other card samples. My card is larger than A2. It is 7 by 5 inches. Fits in a standard A7 envelope for mailing. This is my third tower pinwheel card. The first one I made was a standard A2 and I said at that time I was going to make a 5x7. The 5x7 that I made, I think it was last week, was a Thanksgiving theme. And I have to tell you, these cards are so much fun to make. There's endless options for decorating and they're just as fun to open and play with as they are to create. And they stand beautifully for display. So some of the details of my card, I went with the hand penned suite from Stampin' Up. So that's where the paper and the stamps come from. Here is the stamp set. I tried really hard to resist this set. Um, but in the end, I realized I like the, the loose watercolor look of it and that it's no coloring. I'm still nursing tendonitis in my right arm and coloring is just not an option for me right now. So being able to take the stamp and then stamp the, the color inside in any choice of color that I want, that was a really good option. I like the script on the fonts and the florals are just so pretty. So there are also coordinating dies, and this one here cuts the outline die that I use, and I'll show you that on the card as well. The front has this, it's a terrible name, Austrian Collection Salzburg Oval from Creative Expressions. So it's kind of neat. It has the oval die, so there's two straight edge oval dies. This one has perforations, and then these two cut the design into the cardstock. So on the white cardstock, I die cut that second oval, and then lined up the outline over that once it was cut, made sure I had an even border all the way around and then die cut it. So it's kind of pretty to have that lacy layer on there and you have the option of using it or not. This is a set that I got at r, &R Scrapbooking when they had their flash sale of Creative Expressions dies. The sentiment that I used is drop a note from Tailored Expressions. The one thing about the Tailored Expressions is the stamps are larger than what they show on the package here. So this is a nice size here. This panel is about three and a half inches. I added some orange glitter dots for some sparkle and a little bit of Wink and Still and not as much as I normally do, but I just leave the leaves a light brush and the flower center. The second page has another one of the Creative Expressions dies that I picked up at the flash sale. There was two that I bought. There's the Summer Posy with, with the Iris and the Autumn Posy with the Roses. And then there's a couple of embellishment dies that you can layer on top. So this was another one of my fun flash sale purchases and they're beautiful and as I said in another video these dies just cut like butter. The posies fit perfectly on that left panel so I added that and there is a second one and both of them I sprayed with shimmer spray before I adhered them so they're sparkly. Sending you a big hug comes from the same drop a note and I used my tasteful label dies which are retired from Stampin' Up. I invested in those several years ago and I get a lot of use out of them. This label was die cut twice, once from white, once from the peach cardstock. I split the peach one down the center and then glued it behind the white one so I would have an additional colored border both above and below the label. The next page, thinking of you and your special day, again from Drop a Note. And here's the pretty outline flower that comes with the hand penned suite. A few more glitter dots a place for my personal message when I send my friend the card. Here is another one of the posies. I'm really having fun making these cards. Considering how much dimension you get when they stand for display, they fold so flat for mailing. This is a standard A7 envelope and I stamped on it with green ink using more of the hand penned images and my card fits inside and will mail for a single stamp. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And that's it for me today.